Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor. Uh, Steven's with our rental division and as always appreciate you hanging out with us. Now, Steven, let's talk hot water. It's starting to get cold and obviously we have hot water rental units and we these do. are 2 million BTU units. Started thinking a little bit. Uh, I was like, well, I'm sure they would like to know what happens if somebody needs 4 million or Six million. You know what in the world do you do in that situation when you line have them up too like much? dominoes? Just keep lining Just them up. Keep lining them up. All you need, whatever you need. We thought about that okay. at, at going in. We knew that was going to come up, and we didn't want to put two or three units in a trailer. It gets cumbersome. They won't be used. Will be used. Whatever. So we decided we'll, we'll we'll come up with a solution to to take care of that. This is what we come up with. Okay. So you take two of those trailers, three of those trailers, set this. Uh, assembly beside of them and inlet, outlet, tie the units into them, balancing valves so I can tie three of these two million BTU units into it and give them six million into the building, six million return line. So we, we built this just for that situation where the, the two million wasn't big enough and we didn't want the customer to have to build this on site and then have to worry about, okay, do I get my, my dimensions right? Do I have to, do I have balance and valves? All those issues, just do it for them and they don't have to worry about it. So um, domestic? Domestic. As well as heating? As well as heating. Okay, one. so you set this up for domestic and what makes it, what makes that? Everything stainless steel, uh, brass, plastic, no mild steel, no cast iron, nothing to, to, to contaminate the water. Everything has to be pure for, for domestic water. So in this situation, like what type of temperatures are you talking about? We have, we need 140 degree inlet minimum to my unit, to those, those, those RBIs. So we'll run 140 return, 180 out, okay. 160, 180 out. And then we'll have to have a circulating tank somewhere. That's typically too hot for a domestic system. Uh -huh. They're gonna run 120, 125. Mm -hmm. So they'll have a storage tank to where we can run the warmer, keep that tank warmer than, than what they need in their system. And then they'll have a mixing valve in their system to get the temperature the way they want it. So hot water goes down in a building. Um, you pull up three units typically. How long does it take to get these things up and running? Uh, with the flex hoses we've got, uh, you can hook these up and in, in, you could hook six million BTU up in six hours. Mm. Have them going. Well, that's not bad. No. Get no, a hot shower. That's, yeah, yeah, get a hot shower in six hours. That's right. You're ready to go. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate you hanging out. Something pretty quick, but uh, good to know. Uh, if you've got a four million system, a six million system, that you're able to find a couple units, be able to put them together. And we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today, giving us some good information about the hot water boiler rentals. Now, speaking of the hot water boiler rentals, if you do have a catastrophe or something that went down, we hope that you don't, but certainly if you need some hot water rentals, you can call Steven and the guys and uh, get, get a quote on this now that you know how all this is set up. Also, if you just go out to our website, we have a brand new website, wearing.com. You'll be able to see all the new features and of course the hot water boilers are on there and you'll be able to see the layouts and some 3D designs and some other things about the units. We appreciate uh, you hanging out with us. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel and share a video as always. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.